All right, we just finished today, Ricardo Almeida's final day in preparation for his July 5th fight against Patrick Cote. And a lot of stuff today was uh, sled work. What we were trying to do was get a good cardiovascular pump, get blood into the musculature, but not really have a lot of eccentric tension that's gonna wear him down or break his muscles down. And the sled is a great tool for that. In the Training for Warriors book, not only did I say show forward sled pulls and backward sled pulls and side sled pulls, but we added a new twist with it with the elastic bands and the jump stretch bands. And today what I'm gonna show is a forward sled pull with the band and a backward sled pull utilizing the band. So with us, the sled is good for strength, but really we use it more for cardiovascular training and mental toughness. We usually pull on the 65 yard lane track down and back with one type of movement, then we go back and again, and we repeat that with different movements for 15 to 18 minutes straight. Now that's pretty cardiovascularly demanding depending on the weight that you put on, but with the band it makes it even worse because the smaller muscles in the body now being challenged with the bands as well as the legs, it's incredible. And when we do the sled work here, we do it all barefooted as well, which even creates more stress, but more strength through the body. So with the band, and you can choose which band to use, I'm using a little bit of a higher tension band right now, you're gonna pull it, put it around the thumbs like so, and then under into the armpits. From there, you're gonna create tension on the actual sled, and then whatever step forward, you're gonna push with the opposite hand forward, just driving through. So as I move, I'm driving through, creating tension on my chest, my triceps, my delts, my shoulders, and what's great about this, is this is exactly resisting the direction of the punch. Instead of, sometimes when people think of, man, I'll put weights in my hands, but when you put a weight in your hand, gravity is actually pulling it down so it doesn't really mimic the motor program. Now, the next one is we're gonna do a backward sled pull. With the backward sled pull, what I'm gonna do now is work the, all the upper back and the pulling musculature, which we showed was important. So now, I'm gonna turn back, and as I walk backwards and back pedal, I'm going to actually pull and hold with an isometric for three or four seconds, then release, pull, hold with an isometric again, and release all the way down. So with this, what I think is great about the sled training is we get good concentrics, and now we're also getting isometric challenges too, which are two demands of the fight, but that don't break down the body. So a great pre-fight workout, and uh, really looking forward to seeing what happens on July 5th, and I hope everybody enjoyed this and starts putting this into their training.